hello everyone welcome back to parcel location video tutorial today me and you are going to design a simple birthday flyer and without further ado let's dive into it so first of all go to file select new then choose 8 by 8 inches and you can choose to name your details click on create for your document to be open for you then from here video rectangular to selected draw a nice rectangle whilst holding shift to keep your selection or to keep your rectangle proportion to give you a square shape like this okay then turn off the stroke off or if you don't have this property panel that i use just select your image the, go to file or go to window then choose properties and then the property panel is going to open for you or if you still don't have it here choose your rectangle tool again and you have those assets here so you can just turn it on and you can just turn it off here then i will increase my stroke to somewhere 450 something like this okay then I'll hit OK. Then I'll have something like this. Then let me increase it a bit. Choose my rectangular selection to and uh, the option is still open for me. Let me increase it to 500. All right. Then I'll make a duplicate. Right click and click on make a duplicate or simply control G to make it then i'll hide one of them and i'll turn this one into rasterized layer so that I, I can have it this way then from here with the one that i have i made a copy and i hide it this one let me change its color to a different so if if i try to change the color here you see that it will not affect it because i apply the color on the stroke not on the fill so so if i want to change the stroke color then i will choose my rectangle right tool again or use the property to go to the colors and choose the color that i want you see that the color have changed yes this is what i want all right undo to and get it where it was then i will or make a duplicate again just making sure that i have a duplicate of it and i will close one and make one active then with the one active i'll go to my rectangle tool again and i'll turn the stroke off for this one but i'll fill it with, a, with this color and then i'll move it to a place like this make sure the space here and the space here are almost the same or oh, better still let me increase this one to the edge here and increase this one to the edge here i'm just holding out to help me then i'll leave it i'll select this small layer this one then i'll hold control and click on it to make a selection with the shape then i will select this layer the other layer the big one and and I'll click on the layer max to max it and you see that we can't see anything here don't worry then turn the visibility of this layer and you see that we have something now but you see that we have a small problem here there is a selection that we made here the selection was not quite made well so what we can do is that I can use my eraser tool here is it and erase it off all right so you see that it's gone then with this one selected i rotate it hold out to rotate in degrees otherwise it will just rotate but when i hold out it will rotate in degrees and i want it this way click on commit changes 
then i'll hold or drag over it to make a duplicate and i'll reduce the duplicate and place it somewhere here like this then i will duplicate this one again ctrl j to duplicate it and i will reduce the size just use the edge to drag in and drag out and the size will be reduced for you and i'll place it somewhere here change the color to to change it fill and um, go to fx select the layer fx fx choose color overlay and choose your color you want like this here and you may have it so i'll do the same thing for this one and i'll reduce the opacity for the black one here to maybe 10 percent like this okay then with the big one i'll make a duplicate again and i will increase the size like this okay then i'll make sure that i'll move it all the way backwards change the fill to black and reduce the opacity to 10 11 okay then i'll make a duplicate of this and i can still continue to make duplicate of it reduce it reduce its size another duplicate another duplicate okay then i'll change the fill to the colors i have here one is blue then i'll change the fx here then with my rectangle to select it i'll draw another rectangle or a shape here then i will turn off the fill and with the same rectangle to select it i will increase this one to maybe 20 let me see okay it's good then i will take in degrees holding the or holding the shift and move it to where i want it make a duplicate by holding out and then i'll select both of them and reduce the opacity so then let's add our image to see where we are but first of all select the rectangle that we do here get your image into photoshop then click convert changes and maybe reduce the size a little bit like this okay then right click and create creeping marks you see that you wanted to clip this one here but we can't see the image why then let's try and rasterize the layer and you see that when we rasterize the layer we got the image inside that's all so here with our image selected we can increase to fit the situation all right so this is a birthday flyer so then i'll add my birthday capture so please if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe leave a like share for someone to also enjoy thank you very much and please let's finish up with this design then choose a font for your test and then i'll reduce the tracking to somewhere like this then i'll add a date all right so you just add your captions what you want to add to it it's not any difficult job you have done or you have already done with the difficult one so you just add your captions and you are good to go
happy birthday then if you have a test you can add it to it here then the name can come here all right thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoy it see you next time